So if you've ever thought about taking acting classes but you don't have an acting studio nearby, or if you happen to be locked in your home because of a global pandemic, and your local, regional, and federal authorities won't let you leave your house, then online acting classes are an option. In today's episode, I will take you to my very first online acting class and show you how it all went. Coming up next. Hey, what's up? I'm Vinny Horst, and this is The Starting Actor. I am an actor starting out in the film and TV industry, sharing with you my real-world experiences and practical advice. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. Online acting classes are getting pretty common these days, but it's not something that I ever thought that I'd do myself. Here we are in 2020 amidst the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. The acting studio that I attend has moved everything from in-person to online. So, what is an online acting class all about? Well, if you've ever done a group chat like FaceTime or Facebook Messenger or Skype, then you have a pretty good idea of what an online acting class is all about. Now, the studio that I attend doesn't use FaceTime. They use an online meeting tool called Zoom. They take it to the next level, and it allows them to do some interesting things, which we'll get to in a second. Getting the app installed on my computer was actually pretty easy. In my case, my instructor sent me an email before class. I clicked on a link, it downloaded the app, installed it, and magically, I was ready to go. You can run meeting apps from your phone, but I would recommend that you use a laptop with its webcam and microphone and a good sturdy Wi-Fi internet connection. Keep in mind that if you do use your phone, that video uses a lot of data. My acting class was three hours long, so just imagine having a FaceTime for three hours. It's a lot of data. The reason that the studio uses an online meeting app instead of a social media app is because of the flexibility. For example, they can set up the meeting ahead of time, they can control who can attend the meeting, who's speaking, whose video is being seen, and the killer feature for online acting classes, breakout rooms. The reason I think that breakout rooms are so awesome is because they work out really well in the format of a typical acting class. And if you've been to one of those before, you'll know that generally you're going to be working on a scene with a partner. There's two of you. What a breakout room allows the teacher to do is you can take those two people and put you in your own room so that you can't hear or see anybody else. Then he takes all of the other groups of partners and puts them into their own room as well. And then he can jump into each of the rooms, say hi, give you some tips, and jump out and go to the next room. Drink some brandy. Fine. Now are you satisfied? Now sit down. Sit down? Why, why should I sit down? What, what good is that going to do? I want you to relax. You can't relax standing up. African natives can. They can stand on one leg for hours. Well, I don't happen to be an African native. You don't happen to be a what? An African native! What's that got to do with it? It doesn't matter. Ruth, really, please, it doesn't matter. Listen, I, 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 I will sit down, okay? You see, I, I've sat down. Everything is fine now. Would you like some more brandy? Yes, please. All right, so what are my impressions? Well, it was a mixed bag. I think that the class itself went very smoothly. And I think that the old adage, you get what you put into it, applies here. You can, because you're at home, just turn off your video and turn off your audio and do nothing. Or if you want to participate, you can actually do quite a bit. You can learn quite a bit. But I did have challenges. I, because it was the first time that I'd ever done a class like this online, I felt it was really quite hard to connect myself with what was going on on the other side of the camera. Uh, in class, you get to hear and feel and smell everything that's around you. And it's very visceral. When you are working online, you don't have any of that. So you have to make up a lot more of that in your own mind and pretend a lot more. On the flip side, there are other actors that were in the class that I think thrived under these conditions. Somehow, for some reason, something clicked in their minds and their performance was actually stronger online than it was in person. Now, on the technical side of things, I have to say that I'm really quite impressed with the tools that the studio provided. Zoom was super crisp, super clear. There was no choppiness. 
everything was great. Uh, if you've been on some social media chat apps, sometimes you see that the video gets choppy and, and the audio kind of cuts in and out, cuts out. Not the case at all with, with the application that we were using. And one quick tip before I forget, turn off your video when you are doing the acting. I left my video on for a little while at one point and it, I had to stop because it was so uh, distracting. I was speaking and seeing myself speak and it was, it was just weird. Another interesting benefit of taking online acting classes is that the starting actor can familiarize themselves with their computer. Two words, self-tape. A self-tape is when you record an audition for yourself using some video and audio and you submit it to the casting director online. So if you know how to use your computer a little better, that self-tape procedure gets a little easier. Perhaps more importantly, learning how to use online meeting software gets you ready for online auditions. Sometimes the casting director will contact you and say that they want to meet you in person. Sometimes they'll do it through FaceTime and other times they'll do it through online meetings. And just to prove to you that online meetings are a real thing in the industry, Netflix just recently announced that they did a full table read with all 40 actors, executives, and producers all in one shot. All right, so here's the big question. Are online acting classes worth it? I think so. They are an absolute legitimate option for learning how to act, particularly in a situation where you don't have easy access to an acting class or maybe perhaps that you can't make a particular class one day in person. They are a legitimate option. I still prefer going to acting class in person, but if I need to, I will have no hesitation to take an online class. And so the question of the day, have you taken an online acting class? If so, how did it go? And if you're not planning to take one, why not? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. That was another episode of The Starting Actor. I am Vinny Horst, and if you enjoyed what you saw here today, then hit that like button and consider subscribing. We'll see you later.